I want to start off this video by saying this is not the kind of content I want to make. I am a voice for positivity in this community and I always try and see the good in what is happening around me. But there are certain times when I feel a decision is such a detriment to the brand that I have to say something because I feel like this cannot be communicated over an email. I've tried to communicate this over calls and over conversations, but this is something that I have to just say from the heart and say that this is something that is greatly concerning me. And this is, it, to some people, a very minor thing, but for someone who has collected this brand for 15 years, I've been thinking more and more about what my purpose as a content creator is. It's not about to hype up new releases and, you know, get people as excited as possible for something. It's about the preservation of this IP because we've been going for 15 years. I've had this channel for 12 years. And when you look at products like this, we know that we have to preserve this information because it will be lost over time. And yes, that is an empty box. I actually have here, let me just say quickly, a little positive note. Um, the previous video that I released, my Scorpion build, I have never seen a comment section so positive. I hear you all, and that's what I'm gonna be doing going forward. I'm gonna be dedicating a lot of this YouTube channel to the building and archiving of original sets. I'm gonna be building them on the channel, showing off the bags, the sets, the pieces, and really talking about the legacy of the brand because I feel like that is so much more important. And the fans clearly do as well. You guys were so supportive of my last few videos. I, I'm, I've been so motivated to make content at the minute and that's what's frustrating about this. So without further ado, the problem at hand is as of three days ago, megaconstructs.com has shut down the whole website, literally purged from existence. And I have tried to say to Mega many times that this is such a bad move because we are losing so much of the information, so much of the imagery and so much of the collation, the archiving of these products the reason that I don't collect jazzwares too much, I have a few jazzwares, don't really collect them. The, the main reason is because it is quite literally impossible to find out the information about each jazzware figure, when they released what wave. You cannot even Google the Spartan collection and find out which figures were in which wave. And that is crazy to me. I just don't understand that. And that's one of the main reasons I don't collect it. The main reason I don't collect quite a lot of the Halo brands actually is because I cannot physically find the information about what released in what year. And that is what's really important to me. I want to be able to collect every one of a certain character or every one of one year or every one of a release based on a specific game. And that issue is what we are going to face now going forward with the closure of megaconstructs.com. And to be honest, I didn't even realize the situation was as bad as it was until the website closed. And I'll tell you exactly why. Now, I wanna say this is not a negative message towards Mega at all, right? Like these decisions I understand are made way above people a lot of the time. And this is not a situation where I want the comment section flooded with negativity towards different aspects of the brand you're not happy with. That's not what I want from this video. What I want from this video is a direct message to Mega that we need to have a step-by-step -step plan in place to archive this information or to have a proper way of redirecting because here's the thing. So the website's gone, totally gone. Mega Unboxed is still there, but I don't even feel like that has long. The Mega Unboxed forum is gone. Now it's sort of just this strange landing page and we'll get into that. So if you go to Mega Unboxed, you can find uh, under the collect section, a lot of the images of different sets, but it is limited. It's bare bones. 
you do have the PNGs of each figure when you go on each listing, which I am happy about, but there is no listings whatsoever, like literally none, past Halo Wars 2. If you go as far back as the Incinerator Cyclops, there are no other sets. So for anyone picking up the license, it ends there. There are 10 pages and that is it. And I imagine that is probably as long as that Mega Unbox website has been up. I imagine if I was to guess, page 10 is when that paid, like the, the, the uh, sort of archiving was established there, um, the set listings. But it gets worse and worse, and hear me out. The sets are there, the images are there, but they're bare bone images. A lot of them are sanitized on white backgrounds, which I don't have a problem with, but a lot of them are missing the promotional backdrop material that a lot of them originally came with. A lot of the like nice backgrounds, photorealistic settings. It is way more sanitized. Now, there is no way to search by year. There is no way to search by faction. There is no way to search by species or by character. And if you use the search bar at the top, you receive results for all brands, not just Halo. So there's no dedicated Halo section. The kind of is, but when you click on Halo, it literally just takes you to the product listings. It's nothing else. Now, this is the worst part by far to me. If you go on Google Images or any image search, if you go on any search whatsoever, let's say you search up the Snowbound Combat Unit, you'll see the listing, probably be the first search result on Google. If you click that listing, or if you go to Google Images and you see an image for the set and it's from megaconstructs.com and you click that listing, any link that was to any part of megaconstructs.com on any image, on any website link, search engine, social media platform, all of them just redirect to the Mega Unboxed homepage. And it's not like a redirect where it says, hi, looks like you're looking for megaconstructs.com. Here is probably what you're looking for, some links. But the problem is, no person can really ever go through and manually redirect link from every specific Mega Constructs URL for every specific product through to every specific matching product on Mega Unboxed. So naturally the only thing that can be done is booted out to the home screen, like to the landing page, the home screen. So let's say you're a uh, 14 year old collector. You've uh, played a couple of Halo games before, but you didn't know Mega Constructs, Mega Blocks, Mega existed. So you, you're going through a thrift store, you find the Snowbound Combat Unit, you think, oh, that's really sick. I wonder if there's more like this. You buy it, you get home, you unbox it, it looks incredible. I remember the first time, like every one of my first times of picking up these products for the first time, the invigoration and the excitement is, is really uh, palpable. And then you think, I'll search for it. You go on Google, you find the Snowbound Combat Unit, and then you click on it and it just redirects you to the Mega Unboxed page. Maybe you'll continue and maybe you'll have a little look through or maybe you'll think, oh, that link's dead and click away. Or maybe you were specifically looking for that one or maybe you wanna search for that one and you search for it and there's nothing past Halo Wars 2. We are talking a percentage of people, I don't know if it's a large percentage, but we are talking about a percentage of people that might be immediately alienated from the brand, right? If you're like, um, you're, you're like an 18 year old kid, you played Halo, your brother, your older brother has a big Halo Mega Bloks collection, he gives it to you and you think, that's really sick. And he's specialized in combat units. So he has a collection of 10, 15 combat units. You think, these are incredible like fire teams of my favorite characters. I want to collect more of these. So then you go to Meg you go to Google, you search for every Halo combat unit. Best case scenario, you find Reddit. And the Reddit for Mega Constructs is awesome. Facebook, you can't really find on Google. Twitter, like individual Twitter searches, you can't really find on Google unless you specifically search for that. Um, and Instagram, neither. Um, so really all that you're gonna find is eBay listings, Amazon listings, and the all in all massive amount of links that just redirect to megaunbox.com. And then you search combat units, and because combat units haven't been produced since before Halo Wars 2, dead end again. 
I just like, I, I am so positive about this brand and I love this brand so much. And I think that one of the most important things, here's the thing. I have not seen any evidence that Halo Mega is being canceled, right? But let's say it does one day. We'll move on. This community will actually persevere. I fundamentally believe that regardless of whether Mega is still making Halo sets, we will still continue. But let's say um, in this like in this horrible alternate reality that is never going to come true, Mega Halo is canceled, and suddenly the Mega constructs.com is gone. They would shut down megaunbox.com, I have no doubt, or they would stop updating it, or I don't know, I, I'm just not confident that that's like not just going to be absorbed into Mattel creations anyway. And say that happens, the, the, the whole point of everything that I've done is kind of just a mute. I just crossed a threshold on the domain. I have produced 1,500 videos. And it's kind of like, what's the point of it if all those millions of people that have come to this have no means of understanding what came before and what collecting is? What's the point if they like physically cannot find out any of this information, because say, um, I don't know everything about SEO performance, right? But let's search engine optimization performance. So let's say uh, search engines only produce uh, websites that are getting clicks, websites that are being searched up. Say that megaconstructs.com is kind of only in a sort of, um, I don't know, it's, it's, it's been shut down, but it's not gone, like the URL still exists, so for a while it hangs on, but eventually all of the megaconstructs.com links seep out of Google search results, which is over a decade worth of work to get them to the top of search results, but they, they fade away, and then slowly these collectibles become scarcer and scarcer, there are less eBay listings, Amazon, which, it's a bizarre scenario where Amazon is one of the best places to find HD images of Halo Mega, um, but it say it all just dries up, and then there's just no history, there's no preservation, so um, that's really concerning to me, and there's, be, there's, there's really good work that's being done, uh, the Janus Key Project is a community-driven project that is um, fronted by this incredible guy, um, I don't know if he wants his name disclosed, but fronted by an incredible guy who is literally pe spending so much money to buy sealed collectibles of all the original range, photographing them and archiving them on his own website. And I'm going to be talking a lot in the future about how we can help preserve that and help add to that website as well as fans. Um, but that kind of work is being done, but it's like, is it being done quick enough? And now that megaconstructs.com is gone, how do we access this information? Do we just lose all those HD images forever? So, like, I need to know whether there is an action plan to transfer all this information or whether it's going to be accessible by, via some public domain in the future because all of this cannot be lost. I refuse. I've been making videos for 15 years and I don't want all this information to be lost. And then the last part, if I'm being selfish, I can't produce quality videos for you guys if I don't have access to HD assets. If I'm putting grainy assets that I've scraped off Google or found on an old Amazon listing, I can't produce good quality results for you, good quality videos. So um, this is just something that I really needed to talk about. Um, yes, like I I've spoken to Mega about my concerns about the website before. I, I haven't spoken to them since it got shut down, but I really just wanted to make this video because I just feel like it's so much better than just an email and it will be taken more seriously because this is something that I really think is quite serious. And all of those URLs being lost, I think 
cuts into the amount of fans that have access to this and that uh, even discover it to begin with. So um, that that's about me, Halo Boy, on just one long rant. Thanks if you stayed till the end. Comment down below if you stayed till the end. And please do keep the comments nice. Um, you know, I, I want this to be a positive space. I really do. Um, but such a big shout out to you all. Um, I have so many exciting videos coming. Uh, I have found the the biggest motivation to make Halo mega videos that I've had in years. And it's so good to have this long list of videos that I'm just racking out at the minute and I barely even have time to edit and release them all because I have so many ideas. Um, the Scorpion video was so well received. Obviously, the next logical video to do in that series is unboxing the very first set, the UNSC turret. And we're going to archive it. We're going to do as much as we can on this channel to try and preserve this data and continue the legacy and preserve the legacy of this 15-year-old IP. So shout out to you all. Stay awesome. Stay safe. Domain signing out. Stay positive. And remember, Halo Mega is the most important thing in the world of the things that don't matter at all. We're just here to have a good time and preserve this community. All right, Domain signing off.